Explorers! It's Monday morning and we have a result. And I built on a, a thing that I found out from one of you. And so Jonathan De Geer uh, was suggesting that going through all possible position was also my initial thought. But we don't need to check them all. We only need to check transitions. X, Y, F in your code. Uh, F, X, F, 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 Y and F, Z in your code. That are guaranteed to map to at least one beacon. Hope this is uh, clear enough without uh, giving you the full answer. So thank you, Jonathan. And it, I guess it was. <laughs> so I got a result here, 308. Let's see if that is the correct value. Put it in. And yeah, you get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody gets a gold star. So let's see what part two entails. Sometimes it's a good idea to appreciate just how big the ocean is. This is using the Manhattan distance. So far a part of the scanners, uh, how far apart do the scanners get? In the above example scanners two, three and uh, are the largest Manhattan a distance apart. In total they are one, 97, uh, 175, 249 units apart. What is the largest distance between the, any two scanners? Okay. And uh, good part here is that I, I got actually a <laughs> hint again from another one of you, which was Matthias Kern. Uh, let's take the two scanners A and B, you take the same 12 beacons and the distance between those tail beacons and AG, the uh, Manhattan distances are the same regardless whether you look for, at it from scanner A or scanner B, direction, rotation does not change the distance. That gives you a way to pair beacons A from A to be uh, to beacon B from B, their sets and distances or other beacons or respective scanners have a large intersect. And I'm sorry, but I didn't understand that, and I didn't get the Manhattan distance. Uh, and it was so far long ago that I actually looked into the Manhattan distance, but I was lucky enough that I have written out each of these beacon answers here so I will create a new file with all the beacon answers and just read them in again so I don't have to run this and then calculate the distance between them that's my <laughs> way of doing this so I will eat some breakfast look into that and count some Manhattan distance so see you later and I'm back and I have eaten breakfast. So let's see here. And I calculated Manhattan distance to 12,247. So let's put that in and see if that's correct. No, uh, it's too high. If you're stuck, make sure you're using the full input data. Also general tips about page, yeah. So. Why was that incorrect? Mm, because I got the first point correct. So I was pretty sure that I should get the second point correct as well. So let's go in here and see. This was the input data that I had for that. And here I have the input data for this. Um, and I've added the zero and I have all 24 beacons. Mm. I wonder if that helps. Should probably not do, but we have 25 scanners. And 
if I look here in the main result, we have scanner up to 24. Hmm. So let's see. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Hmm. And I've sorted them. I've gone through all of them and checked for the largest distance. So I did a really sloppy job of checking for the distance. I just took scanner one, scanner two, and then got the distance between all of them. If there is the same one, it doesn't really matter because that will be zero. So, um, <clears throat> but we can, of course, if S1 is equal, equals S2, continue, and I don't think that will help. Yeah, so we get the same result here, we just check a few less. Hmm. So that's interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I will go through and show you what I did day 19, day 1, and if you have any suggestion on what to do in this part B, then just tell me in the comment section. So, part A. Uh, first off, we uh, I went through all the things about scanners and beacons in the other video. So if you want to see how I actually checked which beacons have, which 12 beacons they have in common, I have a video that was the first thing I did and I got stuck that it was too many positions to check out. But after Jonathan's um, little suggestion here, I figured out that what I needed to do is actually get all possible positions. And possible positions and uh, was getting these test beacons. So I got all the beacons uh, from B1 uh, to B2. And what I did here is that I just took one of the sets of beacon here. Because if I took all of them, as I did it down here, then I got too many. So here I have a prepare and I just get a list of all the beacons that is uh, in comparison to this specific um, beacon. Which means that I will check all the possible values a scanner could have and, and then I return that um, as a list here. And when I have that in my find scanner position, all possible, then I will go through that list and use that as my input to this get test beacon and that will push it right through to this get test beacon as I did before. So I got all those beacons that I could test and then I just go through them exactly the same as I did earlier. The only difference is when I change the position here I not only take the position of this uh, specific beacon that I found. Um, let's see, number, number overlap beacons. Uh, yeah, possible position, and I get X, Y, Z of this beacon with possible position. Changed it to that, and I also send in this test beacon I. So I get all the beacons and I, the only thing I do with this test beacon is go through the hash list and add uh, those to this uh, set of beacons here. 
so that's what I'm doing here. Um, and I, then I got all the correct positions of my different scanners. So I found an ID with a specific position. And if we look at my result here in the run uh, of this, I also type out how long time I take for each run. And you see here that each run takes about 35 or yeah, less than 40 seconds per run if I don't find anything. And if I do find a beacon, it takes three, four seconds. So it takes significantly less because I will break and return if I find a beacon. And I type out which ID the specific scanner had and the beacon or scanner value that it, the value was interesting here. So I, I didn't change it up to be the actual scanner that I returned. That could have been a little bit nicer perhaps, but that's, this is what I did. Um, so I have all those values. And then in order to calculate the Manhattan distance, I created new test files for B here. Um, so let's go down here. And I copied all the rows into this line and also all the rows into this one. And then I went through and read all of those in, created new scanners with that specific line. And these scanners, the only thing it does, uh, yeah, the ID is not the most important thing, but um, I read the X matcher, got the X value and parsed that into X. So this pattern here, the pretty much the only thing I say here that I want uh, this as group one. So group one would be all everything in between these parentheses. So I can get group one here, pass it as an integer and put it into X, Y and Z. So it's just a way of easily with regular expression parse out each part here. So I don't have to do any extra to get to actual values. Um, and then I get all the scanners read in. So if we go back to day B here and look here, I should have a list that is all the 25 scanners with the right values. So all the scanners are read correctly. So if I don't have the wrong places for the scanners, then this Manhattan distance thingy should be correct. <clears throat> Famous last words. <laughs> um, but it was too large and I have used a long, which was a bit of an overkill. So <clears throat> it's not something to do with the variable either that I'm pretty sure of. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, probably the first part is wrong in some way. But if you know or have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a like. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you didn't like it at all, give it a dislike. If you have any other comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet please do that and i really hope to see you in the next video